Good morning, children, and welcome to our assembly today. Today's assembly is about Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the 10th Sikh Guru, um, born in 1666 to 1708. And this is the 355th birthday, which is the Guru Prabh of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. So let's find out a little bit more about his life. So Guru Gobind Singh Ji was the 10th living human guru um, of the Sikh faith. Uh, the first guru was Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and he was the 10th. Now, uh, the guruship has been passed on to the Guru Granth Sahib Ji, who is the external guru for all Sikhs. These are the holy Sikh scriptures. So some key facts. Guru Gobind Singh Ji uh, was very valiant. He was a warrior, a saint, a poet, a philosopher, a guru, a father. And what I can say about Guru Gobind Singh Ji is that he was he was the best that he can be within all these areas and he was fantastic at all these different areas amongst many others. He founded the Khalsa in uh, 1699 and he upheld the principles of social justice, free, freedom of faith and social equality. So these are th three of the things that we all enjoy uh, in, in our society here, but in that time, it was very, very difficult. And even in this time now, there's certain places where these three things are still not, um, uh, still some, some people around the world don't have enjoyed these um, three th principles. Guru Gobind Singh Ji was born in Patna Sahib, an area in uh, India. Here's Guru Gobind Singh Ji's family tree. Guru Gobind Singh Ji was the son of the ninth Guru, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji and uh, his wife there, Mata Gujri Ji. Guru Gobind Singh Ji had four sons, um, and you can see these on uh, in this picture here as well. Gobind Rai became guru at the young age of nine after the martyrdom of their father, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, the ninth guru. So just imagine becoming a guru, a leader um, of many people at the age of nine. Imagine how wise Guru Gobind Singh Ji would have been. Those times were very difficult with a lot of oppression and very few rights for people. Places of worship used to be burnt and people were subjected to heavy fines and taxes. So it was a very difficult time during that period uh, and the world was very different in that period. Guruji trained the Sikhs in swimming, archery, swordsmanship and how to become skillful riders so real three key attributes uh, of, of being able to um, go ahead in battle guru gobind singh ji strongly encouraged equality commitment and accountability and on the first day of basaki in 1699 guruji called sikhs together um, and uh, had an amritan char an initiation ceremony uh, that was held and the Khalsa was formed. So in your classes today, you'll be learning different stories from of the life of Guru Gobind Singh Ji and looking at the different virtues that he, were, he displayed throughout his lifetime. And think about the story today. What else have you learned from it? What do you know about Guru Gobind Singh Ji that you didn't know before? Talk about what you've learnt with your family or share your thoughts with your class teacher on Class Dojo. Thank you for listening to the assembly. Have a great day.